Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to create a beautiful floral design. To make our floral design, the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle. To do this, we'll select the ellipse tool and then hold down shift while clicking and dragging to make a perfect circle. Then you can come over to the color panel and give it any color you want. Next, we'll duplicate the circle by pressing Command or Control J. We'll give the second circle a different color just so we can distinguish between the two circles. Then we can bring out the Move tool by pressing V and move our duplicate circle a little bit to the right. We'll then select both circles. We're going to make a flower petal by intersecting these two circles. To intersect both of the circles, we'll press on the intersect boolean operation up here. We'll also make our flower petal a little bit taller and skinnier. Then we'll shrink our flower petal so it fits better in our document. Then I'll place the flower petal in the center of the document. For our floral design, we're going to have 18 flower petals going around in a circle. To do this, we first need to change the rotation point of this flower petal. To move its rotation point, we need to have the Move tool out, which we already do, and then we'll come up to the contextual toolbar and press on this little crosshair icon up here. Then we'll move the flower petal's rotation point to the bottom part of it. Now as we rotate the flower petal, it rotates around the center of our document. Next, we'll duplicate our flower petal by pressing Command or Control J. Then we'll come to the Transform panel and use the Rotation dialog box. Since we want 18 flower petals, we're going to divide 360 degrees by 18. Then we'll duplicate our flower petal 16 more times. Each time we duplicate it, the new flower petal will be rotated an additional 20 degrees. Now we're going to select all of the flower petals and lower their opacity to 30% by pressing 3 on the keyboard. Then we'll group all of these layers by pressing Command or Control G. As you can see, our floral design is really beginning to take shape. The next thing we need to do is add in some more color. To do this, we're going to use the Fill tool. You can press G to select the Fill tool. Then we're going to click and drag to make a gradient going across our flower. I'm going to make this color stop a bright yellow green. Then I'll click on this white color stop and change its color to light blue. That looks good, but the colors aren't quite vibrant enough for me. To make the colors more vibrant, we're going to duplicate this entire group by pressing Command or Control J. Then we're going to change the blend mode from Pass Through to Add. And finally, I think our flower would look much better on a black background instead of a white one. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and click and drag to make a rectangle going across the document. Then I'll change its color to black and click and drag this layer to the bottom of our document. I think I'd like to have our flower even a little more vibrant than it is now. So I'm going to select one of these groups and duplicate it once again by pressing Command or Control J. And if this third group is a little too strong for you, you can always lower its opacity. I'll lower its opacity to 70% by pressing 7 on the keyboard. And there you have it. We've now finished our beautiful floral design.